Good morning, grade ones. I know that we are on Easter holidays, but Mrs. Ubell's really missing you, and I forgot to read this Easter book to you. So I'm gonna read this book to you just for fun, and if you wanna write on a piece of paper about your Easter to Mrs. Ubell, you can do that with a pencil and a piece of paper, and then take a picture of it and send it to me on Seesaw, because I would love to see your neat printing, and I would love to hear all about your Easter. Okay, so here's a book just because I miss reading to you so, so much. The Easter Bunny is Missing. And look at, there's a sign that says wanted. So sometimes when we're missing something, we make a wanted sign <clears throat> with a picture so people can help look. This story is by Steve Metzger and it's illustrated by Barbara Splur. I hope they find the Easter Bunny. I hope the Easter Bunny came to your house. The Easter Bunny is missing. Now here's a clue. Look what the Easter Bunny's wearing. Hmm. Hmm. I have a good idea. It was the day before Easter and spring was in the air. The forest animals had gathered at Blueberry Meadow to plan for their annual Easter party which always took place after the children found their Easter eggs. I can't wait for our party, exclaimed Bear. I'm bringing the refreshments, said Fox. That means the drinks. Maybe they're having iced tea or milk. <clears throat> the crickets are scheduled to play, said Frog. Their music is hopping. Here's the frog, he's ready to dance to their music. <clears throat> but where's the Easter Bunny? asked Fox, looking around. He's not here. How can we celebrate Easter without the Easter Bunny, asked Mole. He was very nervous. Who will deliver the Easter eggs? Calm down, everybody, said Turtle. Maybe he just got lost. Let's try to find him. Bear and Fox looked behind every tree in the forest. Mole checked all of the rabbit burrows and holes, and Turtle and Frog searched all around the lake. Any luck, asked Turtle? The other animals shook their heads. The Easter Bunny is missing, Bear said very sadly. Oh no. We've got to do something, added Mole. The children will be sad if they don't get their Easter eggs tomorrow. One of us will just have to fill in for the Easter Bunny this year, said Fox. It should be me, and I will show you why. Hmm, I wonder why Fox thinks it should be him. Carrying a basket of colorful eggs, Fox led his friends out of the forest. Watch me, Fox called, as she put on a pair of bunny ears. Now that looks kind of silly, doesn't it? I'd be the fastest Easter bunny ever. She took the Easter basket and quickly raced around to the children's homes, hiding eggs under the bushes. Ooh, foxes are pretty sneaky and fast. Wait a minute, said Mole. You're too fast. You dropped some of the eggs along the way. Children will find them much too easily. Sorry, Fox, but you can't be the Easter bunny. Oh, let me, let, let me, let me do it, yelled Frog. I'm the best one for the job. And why is that? asked Bear. Frog smiled. You've heard that Easter Bunny song, right? Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way, Frog sang. Well, who does hippity hoppity better than me? Frogs can hop very good, can't they, great ones? Frog grabbed the Easter basket and went bouncing down the path. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. <laughs> Frog sang out. He didn't notice that some of the eggs fell out and they broke. I can see the sh. See, it looks like they have a shell, but it's the paper because inside there's chocolate. No way, said Bear. With all that bouncing up and down, you've cracked all the eggs. It should, sorry, I should be the Easter Bunny, said Mole quietly. 
<laughs> Look at he's hiding in there. Mole found the best hiding spots for the Easter eggs, but he couldn't always find his way out. Oh, sorry, Mole, said Turtle. That's not going to work. I'd be the best Easter Bunny because I am the strongest, said Bear. He loaded up his basket with dozens of eggs. I love how every animal thinks they should be the Easter Bunny, but they have a reason why, don't they? Bear said he's the strongest. But as he lumbered down the path, he banged his basket against the trees, crushing many of the eggs. Oh, I guess I'm too strong, said Bear. That leaves me, said Turtle. He strapped the basket of eggs to his shell. Hey, this reminds me of the other book Mrs. Ubell read you about Grandma Tildy, because she had something strapped to the turtle, didn't she? Ah, uh, sorry, and he toddled down the path. But when he finally reached a hiding place, 30 minutes had gone by. Turtles are so slow. Fox shook her head. By the time you finish hiding all the eggs, it'll be Christmas. I don't care, said Turtle. I still want to be the Easter Bunny. No, said Bear, I want to do it. Oh no, the animals argued back and forth, filling the forest with their loud shouting voices. The racket got louder and louder and louder. Oh, I love when the words get bigger. That tells me my voice has to get louder. What's going on here? A, a familiar voice rang out. I could hear you all the way down on Daffodil Road. Easter Bunny Frog shouted, you're here. Where have you been, asked Bear. Look how excited Frog is, he's jumping up. He can jump almost as high as the bear. Oh, I was on vacation, the Easter Bunny replied. Hawaii was so much fun that I decided to stay a little longer. I hope you weren't worried about me. Now, what is all the fighting about? Oh, nothing, replied Mole sheepishly. Nothing at all. I had guessed that he was in Hawaii because he has this lay on and lots of tropical things. Mm. It's great to see you, the Easter Bunny said as he began putting Easter eggs into his basket. But now it's time for me to get to work. I have lots to do for tomorrow. Hippity hoppity, and a big hippity hoppity to you too, said Frog. Happy Easter. The Easter Bunny skipped off to hide the eggs and he didn't drop a single one. I guess he's so good at it because that's his job. Aw, I hope you enjoyed the book grade ones. All right, that was just for fun. But if you want to write to Mrs. Yuval, I would really, really love to hear what you did on the Easter um, weekend. And I'd love to see your beautiful print.